In this tutorial we'll be looking at how to create a table using beveled edges as well as using the duplication special. Okay, let's start by setting up a new project file. So file, project window, and I'll create a new one. And I'm going to save it to my desktop. And I'll create that, accept. So now I need to save my scene. So save scene as. And I'm going to say revision 01 and ASCII. Okay, so step one is going to be to change the uh, units. So I'll go down to the animation uh, preferences, little running man with the cog, go to settings, change it from working linear, units linear to meters, go save. Now in the polygon menu, I'll double click on the cube, and they'll bring up the options, and if I say two meters, by two meters deep and a height of say 0.2, that's gonna give me my tabletop. I'm gonna to create, press A to show all, and there's my tabletop. Now it's a bit thick for, oh, that'll do. Okay, so the first step is going to bevel the edges around the top. So I'll just shift select the top edges, go to my, Modeling menu kit, modeling toolkit, I should say, and turn on bevel. So that'll give me a bevel of 0.5, which, as you can see, is highlighted. So therefore, when I drag onto the text, I can move that bevel. Um, I might want a extra segment in there, like so. So it gives me a nice um, edge to it. And I'll just drop the tool compress Q or, or so forth. And so now I've got a pretty low polygon tabletop with a nice sort of beveled edge and you can see the highlight running across that. So I'm going to flip the tabletop over and I'm going to sort of extrude out the bottom. So Command E or Control E I should say and then I can extrude out by scaling in, clicking on one of the cubes, scaling in the middle and press G to reactivate the extrude tool again and now I can extrude down as well like so so that's my table top um, I'll just move the whole top up like so and this time I'm going to make a leg so the leg it's going to be like 1.2 um, high, I should say. So high by, let's say, uh, 10 centimeters or 20 centimeters. Let's go for 10. So 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and go create. So there's my leg. So to make four of these legs, instead of just duplicating them and, and then editing them, I'm just going to move this leg. So first of all, I'm going to move the pivot point to the bottom. So pressing D key, and that allows me to align the pivot point to say the, the bottom face, which I'll do by clicking on the face and press D again. And now that's aligned to the bottom. So if I move this guy, so I start to move it with the arrow and hold down the X key, it will snap to the origin, like so. Now, I want to make this a little bit bigger, like so, bring it down a bit. That'll do. And being cautious of the positive X area, so the positive X is running onto this side, I'm going to move my leg to the, the front and let's go to the top view put it into wireframe and so I can just line it up perfectly how I want it so maybe I'll use the V key to snap it 
to that edge like so. Oops, snapped to the top, that's fine. Just bring it down like so. And we might go to the side view. Just pressing spacebar to, to move around. And if I hold down X, I can snap it directly onto the edge like so. So now what we'll do is we'll move the pivot point to the center because I'm going to duplicate it using duplicate special and rotate it around at the same time. So pressing D again and then moving the pivot point and then pressing X and I can drag the middle bit now and snap it to the center. Press D again and then it, it, height, it takes it off. So let me just name my bits. And so with the leg selected, I'm going to go up and go edit, duplicate special, and turn it into an instance. And this means that I can edit one of them and they'll all update. Change my rotation to 90 on the Y, and I'm going to do three copies. So with that, duplicate special, there I've got my three legs. So the beauty of having an instance, you can see they're all nicely named as well. The beauty of having an instance is I can go in and let's say, uh, whoops, let's say insert an uh, edge loop using the multi-cut tool, holding down uh, control and clicking on there. If I just put on the wireframe on shaded mode, like so, you can see that's updated and they've all um, updated as well, which is nice. Um, I might come in and fix up the bottom. So I'm going to just scale the, um, the bottom of the leg just to taper it in a little bit. So it's a nice little tapering in like so. And they've all updated, which is really good. Um, you can see that the top's a little bit high, so I'm going to bring that down a little bit, like so. Okay, so my table's almost, oh, let's bevel the uh, the legs as well. So I'm just going to grab all these side edges, like so, and then go up into bevel, and at the moment it's a bit, a bit too round, so I'll just bring it back a little bit and I'll add an extra segment into that like so. So they're all beveled nicely as well and I'm happy with that. So the next stage is just to grab that whole table and I'm going to combine it into one object because I no longer need that sort of separate legs and so forth. So just go combine and now you can see I've still got this uh, transform nodes part of the history. But if I go up to edit, delete by type, delete history, they'll uh, remove the, the relationship between those two. And then I can easily just delete the remaining ones. So now I just want to make sure that my pivot point is down on the zero at the origin. So I press D again and X to snap. And then I've got that there. So I can just call this table now or table one and I'll go in and make sure I modify um, first of all delete the history so I've got no extra history nodes in the channel box and let me just make sure I'm in object mode and I'm already zeroed out, but I'll just make sure by going into freeze transformations and zero out the attributes on, onto that. So there's my table completed. I can now save this scene as uh, table one. So I'll just go save. I'll go ASCII. And there, there we're done. So in this tutorial, what we have done is we've looked at creating a quick table 
using um, the bevel ev edges, duplicate special, and combining the object together to finalize it, as well as the deleting the history, getting rid of any sort of uh, history nodes, and freeze transformation to zero everything out. 